Hmm. CBS 2's Vince Girasoli joins us live from Wrigley Field. And Vince, could you consider this a happy ending for Bartman? You know, Erica, I had that question to myself, but I think the only person who really has the answer to that is Steve Bartman himself. I did speak with his attorney who was there earlier this week for that ring presentation, and he says that Bartman was truly touched. And watch the reaction from the dugout. Right or wrong, some fans believe a Cubs World Series victory might have come in 2003 if it weren't for Steve Bartman. It happened so long ago. In the eighth inning of NLCS play, Bartman deflected a foul ball from Moises Alou. The Cubs never recovered. Fans blamed Bartman for the loss, and he was protectively escorted out of Wrigley. Dan Bernstein from the Score Radio remembers it well. The negative energy in and around that park found an outlet onto him in a way that you really wouldn't wish on anyone. The Cubs are hoping this helps turn the page, a World Series ring engraved with Bartman's name. In a statement, Bartman said, I humbly receive the ring not only as a symbol of one of the most historic achievements in sports, but as an important reminder for how we should treat each other in today's society. It was a little surprising because of how private Steve Bartman's been that after all this time. In describing the gesture, the Cubs said, we felt it was important Steve knows he has been and continues to be fully embraced by this organization. After all he has sacrificed, we are proud to recognize Steve Bartman with this gift today. The diehard fan who has avoided Wrigley for safety all these years seemed touched, saying most meaningful is the genuine outreach from the Ricketts family on behalf of the Cubs organization and fans, signifying to me that I am welcomed back into the Cubs family and have their support going forward. We spoke by phone with Bartman's attorney who was there for the emotional moment. This has been a very trying experience for Steve over the last 14 years uh, with the Cubs winning the series last year and him being a lifelong Cubs fan. This was a wonderful gesture by the, the organization and, and one that touched him deeply. His attorney also told us that Bartman was offered a spot in the World Series victory parade and he turned that down and that this ring presentation by the Ricketts family was in the works for some time. And you know, at the end of the day, Bartman is, unlo uh, is an unlike all these fans who've gathered here at Wrigley tonight for a charity event. They just want to cheer on their team. Let's hope that Bartman can do so freely once again.